factoring a difference of two cubes. So now let's proceed to factoring a perfect square trinomial. Okay, so there are two formulae in uh, uh, getting the, fa the factored form of a perfect square trinomial. Okay, the first one is a squared plus 2a plus b squared is equal to a plus b squared or a plus b times a plus b. So the second formula is a squared minus 2a plus b squared is equal to a minus b squared or a minus b times a minus b. Okay, so for example, uh, you are given, uh, for example, you are given x squared minus 16x plus 24. So as you observe, the middle uh, sign of the given polynomial is negative. So therefore, we will follow the second formula since uh, the middle sign of the given polynomial is negative. So if it's a be negative, so negative ito ang ating ifa follow. Okay, how about uh, positive yung nasa gitna? So 4x squared uh, plus 4x plus 1. So as you observe, positive yung sign niya sa gitna. So ibig sabihin, we will use the first formula. Okay, so is it clear? Okay, very good. So, for example, you are given or you are asked to factor x squared plus 10x plus 25. So, as you observe, in the middle sign, in the middle term is positive. So, therefore, we will use the first formula, which is a squared plus ca plus b squared is equal to a plus b squared or a plus b times a plus b. Okay, so uh, there are some steps to follow in order to get the factored form of x squared plus 10x plus 25. So the first step is uh, we need to find uh, the square root of the first term. Okay, so the square root of x squared, okay, the square root of x squared is x. Bucket x, it's because, again, when we find uh, the square root of a variable, we need to divide its exponent by Two. So 2 divided by 2, we have here x to the power of 1, or you can write it as x. Ibig sabihin, square root of x squared is x, okay? So the second step is we need to square root uh, the third term, okay? So sino ba dito si third term, okay? It is our first term, second term, and the third term. So therefore, uh, um, we will find the square root of 25. So, square root of 25 is 5. It's because when we multiply 5 by itself, it will result to 25. So, ibig sabihin, we are done with following the steps. So, tapos na tayo kay first step and second step. Ma'am, how about si, uh, the second term, ma'am? Si 10x. Okay, pabayaan lang natin si 10x. Okay, so, um, uh, we will only find square root uh, in the first term and the last term. Okay, so uh, in the first step, we have here x and it is the value of a. Again, the value of a is x, which is in the first step, and the value of b is in uh, the second step. Okay, so we are done finding the value of a and b. So all we need to do is to follow the given formula. Okay, follow lang muna natin. We will write this one. a squared plus 2a plus b squared is equal to a plus b squared or a plus b times a plus b. Okay? So, uh, itong dito, dito nakalagay is our given problem. So, what is our given problem? C x squared plus 10x plus 25 is equal to, okay, the value of a is x. So, we will write x here. And don't forget the sign plus. And the value of b here is 5. Then, don't forget to put squared here. So, our final answer is x plus 5 squared. Or you can write it as, okay, the value of a is x. Copy the sign plus, and the value of b is 5, the so same as this one, so x plus 5. So, you can write either x plus 5 squared or x plus 5 times x plus 5. So, our final answer when we are asked to factor uh, x squared plus 10x plus 25 is x plus 5 squared or 
x plus 5 times x plus 5. So is it clear? Okay, very good. Okay, so let's have the second example. Okay, so if you are asked to factor the x squared minus 16x plus 64, so as you observe, negative yung sign niya. So, ibig sabihin, we will use the second formula, which is a squared minus 2a plus b squared is equal to a minus b squared or a minus b times a minus b. So, let's have first the uh, steps to get the factored form of x squared minus 16x plus 64. So, the first step is uh, we will find the square root of the first term. Sino bang first term dito? Si x squared. So, the square root of x squared is x. Okay, very good. Next one, uh, let's now proceed to the second step. Okay, so the second step is we will find the square root of the third term. So, sino bang nasa third term? Si 64. Okay, so the square root of 64 is 8. Okay, bucket 8? It's because uh, when we multiplied 8 by itself, so 8 times 8, we have here 64. So, that's why uh, square root of 64 is equal to 8. After that one, we will find the value of A and B. So, the si first step is our A and the second step is our b. So, after that one, we will follow the given formula. Okay, first is, uh, i-copy muna natin para hindi tayo malito. So, a squared minus 2a plus b squared so is equal to a minus b squared or a minus b times a minus b. Okay, ang nakalagay dito is the given problem. So, what is the given problem? See, si x squared minus 16x plus 64 is equal to, next one, we will uh, put the value of a and b. So, the value of a is x. So, we will put x here and don't forget to copy the sign negative. Minus, the value of b here is 8, then copy the squared number. Okay, so x minus 8 squared or you can write it as, okay, the value of a is x minus 8, oh, which is our uh, b. Next one, copy ulit, x minus 8. So our final answer when we are asked uh, to factor it out x squared minus 16x plus 64 is uh, x minus 8 squared or x minus 8 times x minus so, you can choose either itong a uh, first na to or itong double. So, you can choose either x minus 8 squared, so correct yan siya, or x minus 8 times x minus 8. Okay, is it clear? Okay, very good. So, if you have still questions, you can comment down, down below. And uh, uh, that's all for this day. So, uh, next the next day, we will learn about factoring a general trinomial, okay?